Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tuesday, and today we are going to check out some Galaxy Watch watch straps. First of all, I want to say thank you for watching the uh, last couple weeks. Haven't put out a video. Why? Well, you know, school and just life in general. So, anyways, I'm glad to make a video today. One of the reasons I'm making this is because I needed a new watch strap. If you can see right here, and I'll go ahead and... I don't know if you guys can see this, but... Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, a little, a little, a little rust, rusted out, uh, rotted out. This is, if you just look up watch straps for a Galaxy watch, it's 20 millimeter. I actually have had this, um, go watch the video on this actual watch, but I actually had this strap for my normal, um, not normal, but my first Galaxy watch. Check out that video. Um, and I've had it for a long time now. We're talking like six, seven years. This is a Barton. So if you go ahead and Google like Samsung uh, watch bands, you'll get this Barton brand. Now, what is Barton? I don't know. It was like genuine leather, top leather um, band for like 20 some bucks uh, six years ago. And I was like, cool, that makes sense. That's going to be what I'm going to buy. And it was pretty great. It was comfortable. It felt good. Um, but then looking at watches recently, I've noticed there's another brand called Archer that looks just like Barton's. And then I saw another band, and that's called Richie. And they all look the same, uh, especially the canvas ones. So I went and did a little bit more research, and it seems that all of them kinda are not drop shipping, but very similar to just buying a bunch of these bands off of Alibaba, making a website, making their own stuff, and um, so yeah, they're, they're good watches, bands, and I do recommend them, but the fact that if you have the time, which I clearly don't, this thing is literally on its last string, um, yeah, you could just go on Alibaba AliExpress and get your own one, and so I do recommend that if you're looking around, but if you need it quick and you order it off of Amazon, go ahead. Now, uh, just rambling on here so what did i replace it with because i didn't want to replace it with one that you could buy on alibaba and that is when i found this hem suit watch bands um this might also be another drop shipping one now it says it has what uh, a very specific leather i'm spacing on the name of this leather but a very specific leather let's just go ahead and open this up all right so we have the one and then we have another one. So if this focuses on this, it says Horween Genuine Leather, right? Um, and they've been making leather since 1905. You can go ahead and buy big stamps of leather from them. That's probably what this company did. I don't know if it's made in China or not, but essentially, as long as this is legit, then it's supposed to be a fairly long lasting leather. It looks pretty good. Um, what else is in here? You have this like tool to be able to get the springs out and put a different spring size in there. Um, I think I just have a replacement spring in here. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you don't know, there's just this little spring that you compress when you switch out your watch bands. Just wanted to make a little video on a new watch band here. Let's go ahead and put this on real quick and do what we do. My handy dandy watch here. Here we go, drop that out. And then we're going to go ahead and just size-wise, it looks very similar, but it's not broken. So we're going to go ahead and slide in that side, decompress the spring, get it in. Perfect. Next one. Up a daisy. Come on, get in the little hole. And you're just going to... Decompress that leather lever. Decompress the lever and come on. Fit in there. There we go. Good. So it was a lot of effort. And now new watch band. Sweet. It's funny just because it doesn't have like the shaped like my other one again I've had for years so it's like conformed to my skin. Um, this one not being conformed to my skin. 
Come on, get through your little hole. Golly. All right. Well, I feel like it's like this is a lot of flappiness here, which I feel like my other one didn't have. But there is another band. I don't know how to get that on unless I have to like sew myself. Um, it smells like leather, so whether it's the legit Horween leather or not, it definitely is some leather. It feels good. I think it looks fine. And um, I'll keep you guys updated in the future. But point is, uh, beware of Barton. Um, not because it's the op good. Because, again, it lasted a few years and it's 25 bucks. Like, you can get some bands for 50 200 $300, which is just, why are you doing that to yourself for whatever reason? Um, like, if if this lasts as long as this, like, we're talking about $25 over six years, that's a pretty solid subscription. <laughs> if you really want to talk about it. Regardless, a lot of colors out there for the Barton. They have those canvas ones. They look pretty cool. I don't know about those. There are too many too many watch bands out there i thought this was a good idea to get this hem suit one hem suit um and yeah thank you for watching next week's video a lot better a lot more techie it's gonna be a good time eight minutes holy fuck hopefully we cut that down anyways thank you guys for watching subscribe we're almost to 500 once we get there it's gonna be a good good day love you oh my gosh guys i'm an idiot look it was just pushed all the way up there. You probably have seen it. I'm probably going to look at it in the video and just see it up there and be like, you're an idiot, Mike. And uh, But there is that. I'm going to go ahead and kind of adjust the watch a little bit to get it down. But just a dumb guy over here.